My name is Thijs Heus, I'm an assistant professor of physics here at Cleveland State University and I've been uh, working, or my work is on um, clouds and the atmospheric flow. With support of the Department of Energy, with support also of the um, Ohio State Supercomputing Center and of the Cleveland State University Office of Research, I'm trying to understand um, the atmospheric flow, especially in a changing climate. We're using very big simulations, sometimes also on the graphics cards, to generate a whole lot of data. And those simulations can take up to a couple of weeks of time. That would be a couple of centuries on one desktop, on one computer, normal consumer computer. To study clouds, we're using observational tools like LiDAR and radar, but we're also especially using uh, large eddy simulations, which are very high resolution computer simulations to study clouds. And with those simulations and with those observations, we try to uh, see how much big clouds we get in certain circumstances and how much small clouds we get. So get an idea of the entire cloud size distribution and also how the larger clouds and how the smaller clouds behave differently. So for instance, how much rain do we get out of the larger clouds and how much rain do we get out of the smallest clouds. My research at Cleveland State University uh, will improve our understanding of clouds and of the atmospheric flow. Ultimately, uh, using that knowledge, we can improve weather forecast and climate models so that we have a better understanding or better forecasts of weather at a very shorter scale, like a thunderstorm in a couple of hours, and also of climate predictions in the next couple of years and decades. One of the things that I like about what I'm doing is that it's actually really well explainable, uh, at least in, uh, up to some level. Uh, everybody knows what a cloud is. Uh, so I can at least say, okay, that thing over there, that's what I'm studying. And we really need it for something well, for climate change and everybody knows that that's at least a hot topic and that we need to, you know, that we have a changing climate and that we need to understand that better. I certainly feel some pity for the person sitting next to me on an airplane when we're lifting off and I'm staring out, looking at the clouds and looking, oh, that's a cool feature or that's, that's a nice cloud. And they must think that I'm slightly mad and that's fine.